Well, not much of anything left in here. Sorry, what was that? Oh, well. You see yeah. There's a pump. Mm -hmm. Red pump. So this was a pump house. There's a swallow nest oh. above your head there. Yeah, I see that. It's and pretty. And a wasp nest on the other side. Common sight. In the, oh, that wasp nest is uh, <laughs> torn to pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not much of anything left in here. There's an old jar over there. Table. Window's pretty intact. I Look mean, at those other little wasp nests. Mm -hmm. Scaryville. Kat, I think this is your first time doing a roadside find with us, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> cool. First time going for a, what was that the, uh, what, what, what is the old Besançon town side just on adventure? Yeah. And then roadside find and the old machinery also. But this, look at this, was like a big farmstead. Yeah, this is how it starts. Just random drive down the road and you, sometimes you find a big old beauty like this. And Dustin will get hit by pigeons. I can't yeah. believe the roof on that barn. Look at that. It's like that metal roof that, that's expensive to do that. Yeah, and that looks like it's really intact. Almost looks like it's new. see all the worm rot in the wood there. A lot of pallets, old bucket, see some gears and wheels. There's definitely an open door there. Wave mom! <laughs> On these steps. Oh there's some steps over there. I don't know if I'd walk up those. <laughs> Watch out for pigeons. Well, it's fairly sturdy, but full of uh, full of uh, poop. Yeah, it looks like a lot of stuff's just been uh, full on cleared out of here. Some old barrels. You see, this probably was stalls for animals here, but now it's. Just all kinds of lumber back there. Yeah. And uh, even just all hay. Yeah, we find a lot of these places we find, they just end up being basically just glorified storage. Yeah. For, you know, fence posts or wood planks or whatever. What'd you find? That old Mountain Dew. Oh, that is really old. Wow. What year was that? Does it, is it, can, can you read it? I can't read, but it's back when it was 99 cents a bottle. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I don't know if they even put expiration dates on them back then. Big old pile of hay over here. Then outlet in case you want to charge your phone. Yeah, there is electrical light bulbs up here. Oh yeah, just more. A bunch of uh, chemical drums, chemical containers back here. What's left of a table, and then it just goes back outside. Yeah, you see it, the, the attic, or the, it looks fairly good shape. Look at that, there's no rotten lumber or everything is pretty good. Oh dear, I think my sandal just broke. <laughs> Big piles of guano. I think that is a neck piece for a halter on a horse right there. And uh, I think that's part of a combine, the big paddles there. Everything's in pretty darn good shape actually. This is a garage door for sure that's leaned against here, but inside there's a whole bunch of roofing, <laughs> roofing tiles and a huge tarp. Ah, gotcha. So, so. what was this originally? No one really knows. 
Yeah, definitely just being used for storage. Still lots of space in here too. So in addition to the barn and the couple other small structures we've checked out, looks like there's an abandoned house here as well. So we're gonna go check that out. Wow, what a beauty. This must have been a really beautiful place to live back in the day. Big old owl decoration. Mm -hmm. The place has a Shaw Direct satellite on it. I don't think they've used it in a little <laughs> while. It's the first time we've seen something that, uh, that modern and techy on one of these old houses. No, no, we, there was a satellite dish outside of that homestead. Uh, I mean like a modern, like, like you're thinking like a big old satellite dish. Oh. I'm talking like something more modern like that. I like that's, mean, yeah. that's pretty new. Like they have the bushes growing right up through their steps. <laughs> oh, wow. It'd be so weird if someone like actually still lived here and they're like, what are you doing on my property? Oh, we thought this was abandoned. No, I just haven't mowed the lawn in like seven years. <laughs> but what happened? We look at this. This is totally pushed down. As if somebody put a tent up here or what? Maybe. Oh, you found a well? Oh, the sub pump. Yeah, there's rope going to a big bucket at the bottom. Definitely a hashtag don't drop the GoPro moment. Don't do that. But look at that, this door is open. Yeah. And yeah. that door is open too. Huh. This is just really bizarre how the grasses. Look at that, just look at that. It could With somebody camp here. No, it could have been deer coming to lay down in the grass. Yeah. Deer would more like. Mm -hmm. I just had a thought with that Shaw Direct satellite. Mm -hmm. Should check and see if they have a Wi Fi signal. <laughs> I'll be concerned if they do. Mm -hmm. What did you find? Pencil and uh, some. Did we find a geocache? Please leave a note. Please leave a note. Please leave a note. Still sharpened. Are we gonna leave a note? You're, uh, do we want to leave a note saying that we've been trying to yeah, contact you for your garage. Geico insurance? <laughs> oh. Oh. And you see there is a... Oh, wow. This is nice. This is the thing to the house. Hello? Shaw Cable. Stairs going down to the basement. That's good in the front door. Yeah. This is a nice house. Look at this. Wow. Is that like an ironing board there? Ironing board that you can put up like that and close the door. Yeah. Like that. Cute little curtains. Lemonade, <laughs> empty. But you know, it's interesting that it was kind of empty. There is nothing. Look, it was for sale at one point. Oh, you found a realtor card, realtor eh? Realtor cards that normally they leave behind. Oh. Yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful place. Somebody, whoever moved out, they moved out, moved out. It's not like abandoned, like sometimes we see. Yeah. Dishes on the dining room table and everything like that. Yeah, this was definitely picked clean. But I'm just surprised that you see all these little locks and they are not locked from the inside. <laughs> Look at this beautiful living room, fireplace. This was a beautiful place, my goodness. Oh, look at the bird. Oh, it flew away. Probably was coming for that. <laughs> yeah. So this was the front door, like a, a coat's, coat's closet. 
but look at the look at the the cracks. So that's not yeah. a good sign. Look at that wall. Yes. Might have been one of many motivations to move out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want this hardwood floor. This is nice. It's like that. Feels like that hate that fake like hardwood there was floor. A, like a big circle. Like they had a big, a big uh, yeah. circle. Or over, look at that oval shaped carpet. You see? Look at this. Yeah. Here and then the same thing over here. Yeah. They had a so, gallery wall of pictures. Didn't even take the pins out, yeah. Oh, yeah. So they have the living room. This was probably the dining room because it's off the kitchen. Yeah. And then this was an utility closet. They had a bedroom, fairly good sized bedroom. And then the closets. Oh, two little closets, eh? Yeah. Painted hot pink. Mm -hmm. So one bedroom, and there was another bedroom, somewhat smaller here, closet. It's probably had a, a wall to wall carpeting because this looks like just a soft floor. And then a bathroom over here. Yeah. No water. Yeah. But look, look, look. Toilet paper. Huh? Somebody even used it. Look at that. It's in the. <laughs> I'm not looking at that. Place. No, no, but you know, there's no water, and definitely people were in here. Yeah. Yeah, this would definitely be a popular place for uh, kids to come and squat. I'm honestly surprised it's not more uh, vandalized yeah, than it's not, it is. No, no destruction or no. Like, this is uh, beautiful. I, I wonder if whoever was in here moved out of here recently. I would be surprised, you know, those two realtor cards, one could yeah. look up. It's hard to know what would be the address of these uh, country properties because it's, you know, mm -hmm. range road, whatever. And Try explaining that to the realtor. Oh yes, we're interested in this property, but this card is rather out of date. <laughs> yeah, how did you get this number? Oh, we found it in the abandoned house. <laughs> They've got a cord on the floor here, so they uh, definitely had either a foam line or a, probably a foam line running down well, to the that's basement. That's a co coaxial yeah. cable for a TV. You see, that's a TV thing. Yeah. But like, but, uh, but like yeah. the decor is 70s, so I'm thinking an old couple originally put it together the way they liked, and then eventually it fell out of style and they couldn't sell the house anyway, and it's yeah. just stuck like that. Do we I want look it? at the big oval carpet here, in the, you can see the, the trace of it. Yeah. So this yeah. was their dining room. Yeah, probably had a nice table and chairs set up. And this was the deck. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. I just... See, look at this. Oh, there's a bench here. And lumber, everything is in really good shape. Yeah. They had a clothesline, you see that um, yeah. thing, yeah. pulley, so could have gone to any of these uh, trees. That's where we came in, was over there. Yeah. <laughs> it's completely overgrown, it's going down the steps. Yeah, everybody, whoever comes in, came from oh, there. Here's That's... how you could lift the, the glass frame out of the door if you needed a breeze, you just turn all yeah, of Yeah, that's the storm out. window, they put it in the winter <laughs> and the summertime they put a a frame with mosquito netting. Yeah. That yeah, makes sense. And you see the same thing here. These are the storm windows. Yeah. And this one holds that was a lifting for ventilation. Yeah. Oh, and then okay. in the summer you just replace it with uh, mosquito netting. We've explored the uh, main floor. Now we're going to take our descent into madness and go into the basement. Do you want me to hold up my phone and try to get some light? There's enough light here, just no guardrails because normally you should have a guardrail by code. Yeah. And it doesn't look like there was Oh, I am regretting not bringing my flashlight. Yes, it's not flooded. <laughs> right? It's nice and cool. Not here. flooded? That's a good point. Just switched over to the cell phone. GoPro does not do good in low light. Sorry if I end up uh, blasting you in the face there, cat.
Oh yeah, like a wash basin over there? Yeah, here was washer and dryer. Oh, okay. See the, the two taps for the washer, that probably was the dryer. Mm -hmm. Probably and kept yeah. their uh, cleaning supplies and stuff up here. Uh, it's been completely, completely picked clean. So this could have been like a separate spare bedroom with light yeah. and uh, heating duct. Yeah. It was, I definitely finished this uh, paneling, wood paneling that's definitely 80s, 70s, 80s. I remember seeing a lot of this paneling. Um, I think our old basement actually had paneling like this. Yeah. And you see there are some sheets here that were never used. Yeah. And now if you go to Home Depot, you can pay like $80 for a sheet like that. <laughs> Mom, we had wood paneling in our kitchen and that was... Into the 90s. Yeah, but yeah. Okay, so what's. Oh, here's a spare bathroom. More of this toilet tank repair things here. We had concerns about the toilet in this house. Yeah. Oh, but there's a, a shower. And if we turn around, here's all the storm. I'm just going oh, to pop in and get a look at the bathroom here. Yeah. I love how cool it is down here. Look at their cute shower. Nice curtains. break from the sun. It is nice. Good size, good size bathroom. Yeah, nice little duck design. Mm -hmm. More toilet paper. It's on the floor, unfortunately. <laughs> it's it's really bizarre. It feels like somebody was here not too long ago. But look at here are all the mosquito nets that would fit into the windows. Yeah. I showed you outside with the storm windows. So this is the yeah for sure. Netting. Here's another spare bedroom. This one has a window. Here, I'm just gonna sneak in. Oh, just a tiny little thing. Oh, I can feel the cobwebs here as I came in. <laughs> yeah, just a tiny little thing. Yeah. But what is that? Uh, homemade fly trap, I think. The sacred brew. Yeah. No. <laughs> Bitches brew. If you drink it, there's no going back. And more doors. Look at this. There's it's still in the packaging. A door, probably a by four door. Furnace filter. Yeah, behind me is the furnace. That's kind of, I don't know. Is this a gas furnace? Probably. This looks like ashes. So was this maybe a wood fired furnace? Because i never seen such a thing in here in North America, but... Yeah, maybe. Okay, there's an old, uh, looks like an old hot water tank in here. And uh, some of these walls looked like they weren't even finished. You can just see the uh, insulation covered in plastic there. And then back over this way, we've just got one more little room here. Starry paper on the ceiling. It's probably for a child. And uh, more kind of colorful speckled wallpaper here and there's a big chunk that's just ripped right off. And you got a curtain and window looking outside. Yeah, this must have been a beautiful, beautiful home back in the day. Well, that was a fun, random, beautiful find. Congrats to Kat on her first roadside find with us and essentially leading the charge in there as we went through that beautiful house and the other outbuildings. There's one back downside to that though. What's that? We're gonna hear that she's toddling off into abandoned buildings on her own without us now. We've given her a taste. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> there are two more buildings over there. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for joining us for this uh, beautiful little roadside find, beautiful little farmstead. It was probably a beautiful home back in the day. We're going to get back on the road. Stay classy. See you all in the next video.